Welcome back to Shelf Life. My name is Krista. In our last video, we learned how to make these lovely paper roses. Today, we're going to make this vase. And all the vase is, is folding a paperback book. And that's all the supplies you need. Now, it is recommended, per the instructions, that the book be about 200 pages. Because if there's too many pages, it makes it very difficult to fold and you won't be able to fold it anymore. However, if all you have is a longer book, you don't have around a 200 page book, no worries. Take a pair of scissors, take an X-Acto knife and just cut it down. That's all you need to do. You may need to glue it at the end, depending on your book, depending on the pages, depending on the thickness of the pages, depending on the spine, on whether or not it will close together. This didn't require any glue because there was enough pressure of the pages to fold this. So, all we need to get started is to first of all, take off the cover. You can either cut it off or you can tear it off. If you have a book that's easy to tear, just go ahead and tear it off. And also, feel free to tear off any of the pages that you don't like. If it's an older book, you might have a few fall off or you might not want the title page and sometimes there's some blank pages. Just get rid of them. So here, I'm just going to be starting with chapter one. Now the first fold you're going to make is like a big dog ear. You want to take the upper corner of the book and fold it right there towards the middle and give it a nice crease. That's page one. And sometimes these will fall off because it is the first page. If that happens, it's no big deal. You just tear it off and it'll eventually straighten itself out. The next one, you fold it in half to the center. Get it right into the center, make a nice crease. That's page number two. And as you notice as you're working, it will get hard because they'll want to keep kind of flopping in front of you. Get a clothespin or a binder clip. You may need to do it a couple times depending on how thick your book is or how thick the stiff the pages are, but that's all you need to do and just keep clipping it and it'll keep it out of your way and you'll be able to have a better access towards the center. And those are the only two folds for this first pass and you alternate them. So again, a dog ear and a fold. Next page. fold in half. And that's what you do page after page the entire book. But I don't think any of you want to sit there and watch me fold this entire book. So we'll just pretend that I did. So when you're done, you're going to have something that looks like this. You're going to have a thinner end and you're going to have a wider end. You want to put the thinner end towards you. So if this is our vase, you want the wider apart, the thinner towards you. And what we are going to do is fold each page one more time. So the page that you dog-eared, you are now going to be folding again. You're going to be taking the point here that you folded along the edge and fold it towards the center. And you'll see you start getting a point. And the second page where you folded in half, you're going to do the same thing and fold it in half again. So as you notice, it's kind of starting to look like that vase. And again, those are the only two folds that you're going to need. So again, fold this. Again, so there's a point. And again, fold this in half. And that is what you're going to do the entire book. It does take a little time and it can get a little tedious. However, it is certainly well worth it in the end. You'll get a rhythm down and you'll be able to knock it out in no time. And as you can see, it's very well worth it. I made this probably three, four years ago, and it's still in great shape. It's kind of weathered a bit, so you can see it's kind of a yellow color, which is kind of a nice color. But if you notice in the top, 
you'll see some of the points here and you'll see a recessed area. That's where you put your flowers. You can put in the paper roses, you can put in artificial flowers, you can put in sticks and twigs, anything really. And it makes it and very sturdy, as you can see. And again, depending on your page, you might need to put a little glue to hold it together. This one didn't require any, but just so you know, you might need to. So just get your hot glue gun at the ready. And if you don't have the materials, which you would really like to get started, that is not a problem. So call the library and we will have a flower making kit available for you to pick up. In the bag, it will be a paperback book for the vase. You'll get a handful of squares for the roses. You'll get a toothpick for the curling of the flowers. Uh, you'll get some pipe cleaners and you also get instructions for both the flowers and the vase. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call the library 724-863-4700. Or my email address is kbrown at norwinpubliclibrary.net. And so if you'd like one of our kits, our flower making kits, just please give us a call and we'll have one waiting for you. Right now we are doing curbside pickup. So if there's any other books or materials or audiobooks or CDs or DVDs that you would like, please call us and we can have them ready for you when you, when you want to pick them up. So thanks for watching Shelf Life. And keep watching because we still have some more paper flowers in which to make. And they're really cute. They're really pretty. So just keep watching and uh, have a great day. Until next time.